Hello everyone, welcome back, it's TGR, that's Game and Robbo. Guys, it is amazing, it's amazing that I can actually be able to talk to you guys once again. We've managed to get our microphone fixed finally, which has been a major, major hassle. But guys, it is absolutely amazing to see each and every one of you once again. I'm so happy and thrilled to be with each and every one of you. Now, just before we do start this video, guys, please, 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 please make sure that you do smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too. And don't forget, it is still not too late. It's still not too late for you to join the TGR, that's Gaming Robo Members Club, and be part of the first ever TGR Robos merch draw, which will be happening at the end of this video. So guys, as if you can recall, obviously we are managing Telford United. We've got them into the Premier League. We won the Premier League last season. We won it last season. It was absolutely amazing. Now we're rebuilding our squad to you know try and get them into new and bigger and better heights that they've ever could ever ever could ever think about before and we are trying out a brand new formation as well <coughs> simon hey dude how are you mate are you all right so as you can see the formation we've got is a three one three two one dude i've got the smiley face for you i'm happy that you've got your uh, you've got your internet back as well Right, so let's have a look. So the transfers that we brought in so far, guys. So Jari Thurkildston. Um, I know Min has been uh, researching some of these players. Uh, hopefully, we hopefully Min will be around uh, shortly. Uh, he's been pretty good actually researching who these players are. John Terry joined us, but literally I for I tried to get him to re-sign a new contract because I got him on a month to month, and he signed for Arsenal. <coughs> Not happy with him at all. Pascal Lefebvre, I'm thinking potentially that is Lauren Blanc um, or Frank Silvestre. I'm not too sure, but uh, definitely one of those players. Ulrich Fredriksson, I think one, one of the lads mentioned to me that it was uh, Bjorn Goldback, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, Melanator 1, can I see Scally stats? Yes, bear me two ticks, dude. Let's have a quick look at Scally there for you. There you go. Matty Harris. Hi, Robo. Hi, Robo. How's you, mate? Mate, I'm so happy now that we managed to get back onto the stream side of things. And my little one is fast asleep. And fingers crossed she's not going to be coughing up her guts today or tonight, should I say. Um, she's been loaded with uh, cow pole and all that jazz. So fingers crossed she should be sleeping through the night, which is uh, which is what we all want. Mark, hello dude, evening mate, how are you? So, um, the last one, obviously, because obviously the audio was messing up last time, big time. I managed to play one game in the uh, cup that I've managed to set up. We beat Nuremberg 1-0 using the new formation. we still got Olympiakos and Panathinaikos to go. Driven, driven, TGR, the king is back. Oh, cheers, dude. Melanator, awesome. Yeah, no worries, dude. If you want to have a look at any of the other players, please, um, you know, please ask, mate, please ask. Now, I haven't checked. Hi, Darren, dude, how are you, mate? I haven't checked the Sedgeford list. Um, so Julio Ricardo Cruz. By the way, we've got we've got a more than enough strikers in the setup that we've got at the moment. So I'm not be looking at any more strikers. Uh, Roberto Ayala, man, he could help us tremendously in defence. Because I still think Martin Keown's, um regen isn't quite that good. <sighs> Let's see if he accepts twenty nine thousand. Um, Zinedine Zidane, no way. <coughs> Zinedine Zidane has anyone actually had Zinedine Zidane because I've never had him before um, purely because I've, I've never been in a position to be able to have the facility to buy him but has he actually been good at all Darren good just on way to work oh mate that's horrific you shouldn't be working Matchlass and Augusto as well Matty hopefully a good stream hopefully Champions League win and another knighthood dude that would be amazing I, I, I do hope we could do well in the Champions League I do hope so but uh, all depends on if this new formation is going to work for us 
don't forget guys we are going to be doing the live draw at the end of this stream um, so if you haven't had the chance to do so already click on the join button on the main TGR that's Game and Robbo um, YouTube page unless it does state it down below on the bottom right of the screen um, but you click on join and then you'll be part of the live draw that will be happening at the end of this stream guys Oh, Torino wants Roberto Ayala now as well. All right, so we've got Olympiacos next in this uh, in this cup group that I've that I've created. Um, let's see, um, a lot of the players are are quite wiped out, aren't they? All right, let's uh, let's get rid of Mark Harper for a minute. We'll put Hans Veit on, Rosati on, and we'll keep you in there. Oh, Rosati is absolutely shattered as well. So we'll keep Jabi Alonso, Scali. Uh, we'll swap Peters round with someone. Uh, swap him with Fredrickson. Even though he's absolutely shocking with his. Uh, that's the problem, isn't it, with with friendlies, isn't it? That you, you you've got to you, you're struggling with uh, their fitness. It's the one thing I hate about friendlies. <coughs> Okay, that's how we're going to start. I think we're going to start Huntlar, actually. We'll start with Huntlar. Right, here we go. Let's see how we get along in, with this formation against Olympiacos. Like I said, this this uh, CM Cup is literally just to test the waters. Matty Harris, he's joined the TGR. That's Gaming Robber Members Club, so he will be part of the live draw this evening as well. Simon, how in how in here likes the ESPN guys, Craig and Stevie and Julie's talking about football news. They are amazing, so much fun to watch. Ha! <laughs> Why is it so nil nil? Craig Marcin uh, plays left back, right back, best full back. You'll have you'll have well into his thirties plus. Um, Duff to sh put Duff to shame, does he? Does he? And we are losing one nil at the moment, which is uh, quite shocking. We'll go north. All right, we'll get uh, we'll get Vilalba on for Kla Klaus and Yantla. Uh, Min told me that Martin Verbeck is Dennis Burkamp's um, regen, so we're going to give him a bash. John Morgan can come off. Melanita, I always put training to none for the beginning, so everyone's fitness recovers quicker. Dude, that ain't a bad, actually. That ain't a bad shout. That is not a bad shout, actually. Uh, Mark, what the same, yeah. <coughs> right, come on, Telford. Come on, boys. Get in! David Collins equalises! Come on, boys. Oh, it's gone to penalties. Oh, dear. Right, Xabi Alonso is really good at penalties at the moment. David Collins, I'm not... Oh, I'm a little bit sceptical with him. But apart from that, I'm going to have to use what I've got. I'm going to have to use what I've got. No, I'm not letting David Collins take the earliest penalties possible. Scally can take one instead of Peters. We'll see how we get along. Villalba, you absolute melon head. Get in. Shabby Lonza misses. Pitcher misses. Oh my days. We lost the penalty shooter out to Olympiacos. The people that you didn't expect to miss, missed. Which is absolutely ridiculous. It's just a little blip. It is just a little blip. We're not too worried about that. Penalty shootout defeat. Melanator helps a lot when playing in Germany. Dar does it, mate. That's with the um, the the training obviously gone to none, isn't it? Oh my day! I can't believe we lost to Olympiacos on penalties, but it's only a little blip, isn't it? I shouldn't worry about it. Let it let it go. I like like the like the Frozen song. Let it go. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna serenade you guys. So don't you worry. 
Go on, waiting for this to process to, for some time. Oh, is it buffering all of a sudden? Two ticks, guys, two ticks. Let's get rid of some of this. Right, let's see if that helps it now, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, why is that gone like that? Sorry, two ticks, guys. It's uh, playing little games with me right now. Should be all right now. Should be okay. Uh, Darren Davis X Factor is calling, dude. I'll tell you what. If X Factor, if I ever went on X Factor, I'd I'd crap myself. I really, really would. Right. So the next game we are against uh, Panathinaikos. Uh, let's see. How's everyone's fitting? All right. Ulrich's got to come off. Uh, pitcher can start. Well, as I said, Shabby Alonso needs to come off. He can't carry on playing. Same goes with John Morgan. Same with David Collins as well. Blinkhorn can start up there. Um, no, I've not tried them uh, training on penalties, dude, to be fair. Oh my days, really? Clausen sent off already in six minutes. Come on, boys. Get in, Verbeek. Makes it 1 0. Get in. So we are top of the table at the moment in the CM Cup. And Blinkhorn makes it 2 0. Let's see everyone's condition at the moment. Right, okay, so Neil Scally can come off. Rizzati can come on, yeah. Um, Hans Veit can come off, so can Duncan. Harper's going to have to come on. Um, I'm going to try you up front now. We need a win. We need a win to uh, really push forward with the CM Cup and hopefully Olympiacos do not win their next game. Rosati makes it 3-0. Well, I've only literally been trialling Rosati out in defensive midfield to see how he gets along. Come on, lads. And Verbeek makes it 4-0. Wow. I know it's only Panathinaikos. So I shouldn't really get too excited, obviously. But... It's starting to look like it can work, this formation. It's starting to look like it. 4-0, cracking result. Now it's all down to Nuremberg. If they can beat Olympiacos, we've won the CM Cup. Of course they don't. We've uh, we've come second in our CM Cup. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's only a little bit of fun, the CM Cup. So that's nothing for me to worry about. <coughs> So who is excited for the uh, merchandise draw later this evening, guys? Uh, who's this? Jimmy White. I didn't realise Jimmy White, the snooker player, was playing in CM. Don't think he's anyone too spectacular. Mark Vivian Foe.
So the next game now, guys, is literally going to be the Charity Shield. But uh, as I said, guys, who's looking forward to the merchandise draw later this evening? You would say you are, dude. That's good. Well, right, what's going on with uh, the widget? Let's open this widget. Sorry guys, I just had to sort that out. I've still got some little errors, but I'm not well, I'm not too fussed about it. Simon, you are too good, 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 good. Glad you are, guys. Glad you are. Right, come on, boys. I want I want us to uh, get to the charity shield now. I want us to face Man United. I want us to see how we get along against them with this with this new formation new setup I want to see how we get along against them Roma I want the Roma's going in for Ayala as well not like the Roma doesn't need him Ian Russell six months he would have been someone I would have got back in a couple of the seasons ago Eldar is going to be joining Panathinaikos. How Eldar joining Panathinaikos? That cannot happen. Well, Leon Taylor, he looks good. Stephen Holloway, he's going to be joining Burnley. Yes, great way to start the weekend, Darren. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's been absolutely horrific not being able to do um, like the videos without the, my microphone. It has been awful. And obviously with my little one being ill and obviously wanting me all the time, it's just like I, I've had to try and find whatever whatever time possible to try and record the videos and obviously try and get uh, this stream up and ready for tonight as well but uh, I'm, I'm thankful that she's sleeping you know fingers crossed like I said earlier um, hopefully it uh, it continues and I won't I won't have any issues with her tonight at this moment in time it looks like I'm not going to have any issues which is which is brilliant shouldn't be that long till we have the charity shield match now 10 days time We've got so many players that's going to be having their debut game against man united ayala joins roma go away ayala there's no one else on the sedgeford list that was worth while getting so ayala was perfect for for the defensive central defensive role would have been perfect for us but how's everyone been doing with the uh, club formation and gold challenge uh, generator so I, uh, I'm doing a video on one uh, not at this precise second of course but I am doing one um, after the stream and uh, yeah I, I, I've been I've been handed uh, a lovely team and I'm not allowed to have a certain player uh, in my team as well, which uh, is quite, it, it was quite annoying to be fair with you. But uh, that video will be up soon, so I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, Eric Adu, he's available. Ke Kevin McAllister's put him up for transfer list. Wants to move to a bigger club. I don't know. I don't know if Eric Adu is good enough. Those two work rates twelve. Long shots is twenty. Good position is nineteen. Acceleration is twenty. Pace eighteen. Marking sixty. All these stats scream out that it's really, really good. 
they all scream out that it is really really good but I don't know Darren, hate, it's think I'm going to get the sack. Why do you think you're going to get the sack, dude? Coming up close to the Charity Shield game now. Looking forward to playing Money United in the Charity Shield. <coughs> Come on, we want to play the Charity Shield. We want to beat Money United. So I can't wait for the Champions League as well with uh, with my new Telford team. I do think we're gonna. I do think we are gonna do well. And like I said, this potentially could be the last season with Telford. We could be moving on to another team in the next season. Only time will tell, of course. But I do think it's time for us to potentially move on and start doing the, uh, you know, trying to build another team in a different country, in a different league. Um, yeah I'm looking forward to that I'm looking forward to a challenge like that so it's almost like the journeyman that we're going to be doing on the live streams which uh, I've, al I've always loved that type of thing right here we go it is Charity Shield Day. Palmer lead Christian Vieri. Christian Vieri's on a free transfer. Oh, man. I'm sorry, but we, we've got to try and... We've got to try and grab him. I know it's more than likely going to be a no, but I'd love to try and grab him. Right, so we get uh, Kleber in left centre-back. Then... Who do we have in the first game? Pascal, then Harper. And then Jabby Alonso in defensive midfield. Um, Peters, Scally. Oh, God. I think we're going to have to play with um, Rizzati in, uh, in central midfield. Then we'll go with uh, Verbeek and Collins and Villalba in up front on his own. Uh, Clausen, Pitcher, Yu, Jarvan. Right, who's the best influence? It's Xabi Alonso. Uh, Darren finished sixth first season ninth at the moment and second season got no money and can only sign th over 30 players and, I, and, I, and I'm in Russia oh dude Matty sounds good if you sign Vieri mate I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get Vieri but I'm not too sure that we will Man United team Roy Carroll Neville Sylvester Brown Thomas Repka Petrov Beckham Sadoff Skulls Ronaldinho and Bojan Jordic. Wow. The main thing is they haven't got Rude Van Nistelrooy. Come on, Telford. Get in! Martin Verbeek. Dennis Burkamp regen. Scores. It's 1 0 to Telford. Come on, boys. It's only Man United. They have no Rude Van Nistelrooy. 
<laughs> oh really Phil Neville of all people he equalises for Manchester United right Amika's coming on for Martin Villalba Uh, we'll get Jeff Pitcher in for Rosat. Oh, Scally's having a shocker of a game. Right, we'll swap Pitcher with Scally because I didn't realise I've got Scally doing forward runs. He's meant to be a defensive midfielder. Uh, Darren, that's a good team, yeah. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, we should be 2-1 up. We should be 2-1 up. Get in! David Collins, get in! And Martin VB, Verby, get in! It's 3-1. It's 4. Martin Verby scores a hat-trick on his debut. Oh, what a little legend already for Telford. It's 5. <laughs> 5-1 to Telford. Oh, 6-6-1. Six, six, oh, my God. Sir Alex Ferguson, what has happened to your team? I know you're not managing Man United anymore, but look what's happened to him under David O'Leary. 6-1. Six, 6-1. One. Six, one. What a freaking scoreline. Right, we'll swap you around with pitcher. I know, 6 1. What an amazing what an amazing game. I can't believe that we 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 beat them 6 1. Liverpool won the FIFA Club World Cup Championships. But 6 1. Guys, what an amazing scoreline against Manchester United. I know it's only the charity shield. But what an amazing scoreline with this team that we're building at the moment. So Dennis Burkamp Regen, Mick Maxim Saigalka who? Two Madeira who? Cherno Samba who? Who needs them when you've got Dennis Burkamp's Regen? Oh, what a legend. <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> he's having a brilliant start to the season this boy someone's recommended him to me I, Matty I can see in knighthood we would have to call you King Sir Lord MBE Robbo <laughs> Simon WTF was that because of the scoreline Simon Matty, I'd love that. I'd love that. I think it's such a mouthful that everyone would give up after. Oi, you. <laughs> Darren, that's a good start to the season. Yes, it is, mate. It is. Bring on bring on all the big guns. I want I want um, Roma in the Champions League. Bring them on. I don't need you now. Bring Roma in the Champions League. Put them in my group. I need them. Let's let's beat them now. PSG is going in for Christian Vieri. I don't think I'm going to get Christian Vieri. Uh, Debski. He still hasn't left. I need him to leave. His contract runs out in six months. He does look good. Thing is, though, I've got, I do have Xabi Alonso, and I think Xabi Alonso is absolutely amazing in defensive midfield. Come on, bring on the first game of the season. We're away against Middlesbrough. Oh, could that be a tough game for us? I'm going to start with uh, with Amika, 
I think he scored last time, so I'm hoping he can uh, do the business again. Darren, I had to leave my laptop at home tonight. Got to work. Got to got to my work. Too much work to do. Oh, dude. So we're keeping the same team apart from Amika is starting and Villalba is on the subs bench for this game. And I'm going to put Blinkhorn on the subs bench as well. Is John Morgan back yet? No. Oh, first game of the season. We beat Man United 6-1 in the Charity Shield. Can we do it? Jeff Pitcher! 1-0 in the 8th minute. Get in. Get in. And Amika. Amika makes it too. What a start at the Riverside Stadium. What a start. We need to make it free. Oh, David Collins. <laughs> David Collins makes it 3-0 to Telford United. Come on, boys. Let's make it four. Let's turn this. Let's turn this game into a cricket score right now. This team at the moment is looking deadly. All right, blink on. We're going to try in for Amika now, and Clausen's going to come on for Xabi Alonso. I'm not risking him getting sent off. Oh, it should have been four nil. Come on, boys. We need to make it 4-0. Make it 4-0, Telford. End the match on a massive note. Come on, boys. Middlesbrough still have Mark Kerr in their team as well. Oh, it's going to stay 3-0. It's going to stay 3-0. But look at the team that Middlesbrough's got. It's not changed that much. It's not changed. Just a couple of new additions to their team. That's that's it, really. Wow, Leeds won 5-2. Dino's off. Great start. Xabi Alonso is key. You are right, mate. You are right. Mark might try this tactic on my Barca save. Dude, to be honest with you, I'm only starting this tactic because the amount of central centralised players that we do have and I wanted to start a new tactic, new formation because obviously we've used um, Fury of the Beast since, um, since the Conference League, obviously. Um, so it, I felt like it was now time to change, you know, now was a good time to change the tactic. You know, if if anything goes wrong with the team you know we know for a fact that you know we're going to be joining a new club potentially at the end of the season anyway so i thought now is the right time to, to use this type of tactic or change the tactic anyway and come across this one and at the moment this one's looking uh, quite banging samuel akoi fingers are i've got tomlinson and tomlinson looks brilliant what <coughs> what even that me me saying what made me cough because Christian Vieri is joining Rangers what a joke what a joke uh, Darren Davis is it on the tactic list yes it is mate yes it is is on the same tactic list as the Fury of the Beast So if you downloaded that tactic um, pack off the Championship Manager 0102 forum, it is on that same list. Derby County in Division 2. Wow, they're dropping big time. So is Norwich. Bristol Rovers are still in the Premier League. Cannot, I can't believe Bristol Rovers are in the Premier League. Our first home game of the season is against Tottenham Hotspurs. Right, John Morgan's got a light injury still. What's everyone's fitness like? 100% barring 
Uh, Byron Collins, right, Anders, what's wrong with you? I'm happy at the sale of John Terry. Me too, dude, me too. Um, right, going to try Hans Vai instead of Mark Harper for this game. Um, apart from that, or oh, Frederickson. I do want to try Frederickson. So he's going to go in central midfield. Come on, boys. We were fantastic against Middlesbrough. Now we need to put on a game face on against Tottenham Hotspurs. What's Tottenham's team like? Shea Given, Mike Duff, Laz uh, is that Lazens, Carbonari, Chris Perry, Ben Olsen, David Dunn, Rebrov, Everson, Burgess. Uh, their team isn't that good. Uh, Milos, hello, I am so blitz. Just like to watch your live on Friday with a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> oh, really? Pascal's injured. Scott Duncan's coming on. <coughs> I've swapped Scott Duncan around because he's not a defensive midfielder. And that run in centre-back is for a defensive midfielder. What? Right, Villalba's coming on. So it's one nil down at half time. Brought on Villalba, changed our pass into a more direct approach. Should have been one one there. Oh, come on, Telford. Get in! Seren Parr equalises, scores his first goal for Telford. Can we get a late winner in the last five minutes against Tottenham? Get in! Villalba, 89th minute. 2-1 to Telford fantastic result oh guys we're about to see who's in the Champions League draw Deportivo La Coruña FK Teplis Czech Republic team Torino uh, Torino's not that great and neither is uh, FK Teplis but Deportivo La Coruña they could give us some problems Uh, Duke Udi's contracts up for your note. Don't want him. <coughs> Who's our next game for Telford? Well, Tottenham Hotspurs wants Tobias Gran. Knock up to 4 million, 10%, you can have him. Here's our next game. Leeds United away from home. That will be a tough game. That will be a tough game against Leeds United. Frederickson come off Pitcher is going to go back in there um, Hans Veit will come off put Harper back in and now we need a new uh, Rosati what's his strength like 19 and stamina's 19 tackling 11 tackling could be a lot better All right Amika didn't score in the last game so Huntlar is going to start Simon uh, can you use a regen generator on the kit starter I'm pretty sure that you can uh, Milos have you tried Lee Fowler on defensive mid 
Uh, Lee Fowler, Minos. What team does Lee Fowler play for, dude? What's Leeds team at the moment? Oh, Demetrius, Constantial, Ian Hart, Ashley Leith, Woodgate, Jens Nowotny, Lee Bowyer, Robbie Keane, Cherno Samba, Mark Viduka, and Alan Puton. So Leeds have upgraded their team. I think we're lucky that it's still 0-0. No -no. Oh! Jeff Pitcher! 1-0 to Telford. Get in! <coughs> what are all... Right, we need to uh, change it to more of a normal tackling rather than going guns blazing at them. Uh, Villalbert's going to come on. I think we need to get Clausen on for Peters as well. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Robbie Keane equalises. Penalty. Get in, Villalba. Mark Milos, Lee, Powell, Lee Fowler plays for Coventry at the beginning. Just search him. You will not regret. He is one class uh, beyond Xabi Alonso. Wow. Magnificent win against Leeds United. 2-1. Matty. Looks. Leeds still have Mark Viduka. Yeah, dude. And look who's top of the table. After three games so far this season. So only us, Chelsea. And at this moment in time... West Brom have got a 100% record. I mean, so does Crystal Palace, but they've only played one game so far. Wow, West Brom. West Brom are really gunning for the title, uh, even though it's only two games in for them. Darren, he... Oh, sorry. Yes, Darren, he is normally unhappy when I take them over. What? Um, Coventry City, Darren, or Leeds United? And Tottenham is offering four million for him. Good. <coughs> so Tottenham signed to buy his grand for four and a half, well, four million pounds plus ten percent if they sell him on. And West Brom's lost their hundred percent record thanks to Arsenal beating them two 0 at the Hawthorns. Abel Salami. What? Seven goals in four games. South African team, but he's having a good start to the season. And he's worth 35,000. Darren, Leeds United. Oh, really? Why is he unhappy? Does does, does it stay if it because you're a new manager or Milos? Check on Lee Fowler. Where is he now? Okay, two ticks, dude. I'll go and have a look. I must admit, I forgot. Uh, Lee Fowler. Sheffield United. God, he does look good, actually. He wants to move to a bigger club as well. Minimum fee release clause, five million. We'll tell you what, we'll do a cheeky two and a half million bid. Let's see what they say to that first of all. Vasco da Gama job available, 28th. Wow. Tell you what, writing all those Milos, hey, Salami is a goal machine. He does look it, dude, to be fair. So when I was doing, when I was writing all of the teams and the challenges in for the generator, I didn't realise how many teams there were. It took me so long and to bounce from one page to the other, getting the team names in. It's horrific. All right, Telford to register 25 players. 
So Taylor, Tomlinson, and Oberg. Uh, wow, well, got a lot of players. Pitcher, Collins, Huntlar, Verbe, Blink, Amika, Villalba. We'll bring Jarvan in just in case we need him to come on. So me and Verbeek Scoops, um, players and manager of the month respectively, which is amazing. Uh, Darren, I think he just wants more money, our oh, mate. Vajuka is a bit of a greedy bastard then, isn't he? Uh, Milos, just believe me, Fowler, his average is five to six tackles. And rating above 8.0. I love him. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going with your advice there, Milos. So I put a bid in, put a cheeky two and a half million pound bid in for him. We will see if I can nab him. Norwich City's put a bid in for two million for him. <coughs> so I've never signed Andre Sick Porson. But everyone says that he's a gold machine too. Why won't anyone buy Emil Debski from me? He just needs to go. Uh, Milos, I'm not going to sell you out, mate. <laughs> I love the emoji face with that dude. So who have we got next in the Premier League? Leicester City away from home. Okay, so Huntlar hasn't done it. So Villalba is going to start in this game. Amik is going to go on the subs bench. Frederickson's going to go on the suspension as well. Now we've got John Morgan, which I've been told by Min, he is Gary Speed's regen. So he does look quite good. Um, so we've got Sven Peters. Pitcher Scali, right. Peters can come off. Go on the subs bench. My new acquisition as well. Mark, lower his price. I have done, dude. I have done. I'm just, I've waited literally just to see whether or not people are going to buy him or not. Uh, Rosati can come off. Hans Weit can start. You can play in. Yeah, that's, you've got the run forward for defensive midfield, so that's absolutely fine. So who's Leicester City squad at the moment? So Chiotis. Uh, Corrigan, Michael Ball, Dubery, Sean Gregan, Bucken, Alfano, and it's 1 0 to Leicester City. Balls, Tim Cahill, Stephen McPhee, Kevin Scully, and Lionel Morgan. We've had nothing in the first half. No shot on target in the first half. Amika's coming on for Martin Villalba. So it's, since. Verbeek's uh, hat trick at the opening day. Haven't heard from him once. Why is Jarvan unhappy? Did you sub him out? Um, to be honest with you, dude, I haven't played him so far this season, so he might be a little bit unhappy with that. Um, let's see. Uh, Frederickson can come on for Scally. And let's go more direct. <coughs> Milos Sean Gregan is rock he plays for Preston at the beginning yeah 
Mark, come on, Leicester. Mark, that's the wrong team to be cheering for here. It's the wrong team to be cheering for. Oh, wow. We're going to suffer our first defeat of the season against Leicester City. Tell you what, it is going that way, isn't it? Ten minutes to go and it's still 1-0. Get in! David Collins, you little beauty! We got a draw from that, thank God. We got a point, we salvaged a point from that game. <coughs> Tell you what, so far so good, this formation is doing okay for us. Lee Fowler, squad rotation, you're happy with that, good. Real Betis manager's been sacked. And Fluminense is now looking for a new manager as well. Ooh. Could we be heading off to Brazil in the next season? I don't know. Arsenal starting to pick up some wins now. <coughs> when are we going to play our first Champions League game? Mark, got to support my home team. Dude. Support Telford United over Leicester City. Come on. Milos. Ooh, Fowler. Ah. And Matty. Collins is going to be the equaliser king. He does look like that he is doing that, dude. You are right. Champions League time. Milos, my money on Fowler. He will relax your defenders. Tell you what, I'm liking all this positive uh, talk about Lee Fowler, Milos. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So, Torino, first game in the Champions League. Uh, let's see now. <coughs> Mark Harper can have a rest. Stick with uh, Anders for this game. Um, Amika can start ahead of Villalba everyone else looks good at the moment first Champions League game for Telford United this is a momentous occasion for Telford cannot believe we managed to get them into the Champions League in what six seven seasons six seasons six seasons it's taken us to get them into the Champions League and they've got two players injured already Torino wow they must be getting tackled hard by my guys Milos I'm buying him for 19 years since I discovered him at high school back in 2003 <laughs> right uh, Jarvan's going to come on I'm going to put Verbeek up front try Dennis Bergkamp's regen up front Scott Duncan's going to have to come off for Clever. I'm not risking him getting sent off apart from that that's the team for the time being penalty no what on earth is going on in the Champions League Get in. Dennis Bergkamp regen equalises. Oh, 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> we were a lot stronger than them. And I think we've missed our chances to... Uh, to take that game and win, win the game. We missed our chance big time. Alan Kerbishley resigns of Charlton Athletic Manager. God, he's still their manager after six years. Aston Villa sack um, Steve Cottrell. Leicester City's made a final offer of two and a half million for Lee Fowler Milos. Leicester City, Norwich City rather. 
Leeds are dropped to 15th. Bristol Rovers rock bottom at 20th. <coughs> so we're second at the moment only because uh, Chelsea's played a game hand, a game more than us. Come on, where's our where's our Premier League game? We're on Monday evening, now Tuesday. So we're playing Champions League again. All right, and uh, come off. Um, Tech Police, I, I need to look at them. They're from Czech Republic. So their players aren't that fantastic. What formation are they playing? Wow, okay. All right, we're going to go with uh, my youngster for this game. I'm going to start Blinkhorn up front for this game. And I think that is it. <coughs> uh, give you 26 on. Come on, Telford. To please beat Deportivo 1 0 in their first game. <coughs> Blinkhorn, get in. And Collins makes it two. They've not had one shot, which is, which is amazing to see. Right, Verbink can have a break so can Collins actually swap Villalba with Blinkhorn um, Sven Peters can come on for Morgan I think Morgan needs a rest he's only got 6 out of 10 so far oh, should have been 3-0 then Telford now it is. Blinkhorn makes it three. Penalty kick. Villalba, 4-0. Fantastic. So they've only had one shot throughout the whole game. Wow. We absolutely destroyed them. Wolfsburg sign troublemaker Nicholas Anelka <coughs> has anyone managed to sign Nicholas Anelka and not have any issues with him at all so I've signed him a few times and I recall every single time that I've signed him I have had issues I don't know if he's just he's just going to be like that regardless West Ham United right Blinkhorn had a blinder so he's going to stay in the starting lineup. Um, I'm going to give Verbeek a break put him on the subs bench for this game Fredrickson can start who's West Ham got in their team Steve Watson, Adam Newton, Ian Evans, Chris Morgan, Steve Craig. 1-0. Get in. Blinkhorn again. Mark Somerville, Leon Britton, Chris Piper, Emmanuel Olesedeby, Ian Hume. 2-0. Get in. David Collins and Michael Forts. They've changed their team dramatically. Mark never bought Nic Nicholas Anelka. No. And it's 3-0, pitcher, get in. Right, 
West Ham United are struggling against us. Wrong team. Um, Villalba, I need you to play because I don't want you to lose your uh, work permit. Um, that's it. I'm only going to bring on Villalba for the second half unless we need to change team. Get in. 4 0. Absolutely amazing. Neil Scally can come off and Hans Veit can come off as well. Mark, Nicholas Nelko moans more than a woman. <laughs> May have been a woman in an earlier life. Yeah, that does make sense, to be fair with you, dude. Villalba scores in the 87th minute. 5 0 against West Ham United. And they didn't have a single shot. Wow. So us, Arsenal and Man United all joint top. But we are leading only by goal difference at the moment. So Aston Villa appointed David Seaman. He leaves Preston North End who are in Division 2. Uh, okay, fair enough. Aston Villa in Division 1. Tell you what, so far, this team is doing brilliantly in the Premier League. Um, I'm, I'm ecstatic with how they've been performing so far. Darren Ross. Don't know who he is. It's the problem now, isn't it? When you're going so far into the game and you don't know who the regens are anymore. Christian Vieri, how you get along at Rangers? Five goals, five games. Bastard. Should have joined us. So Deportiva La Coruña comes to Telford's ground. And I think after that game, who have we got next? After Deportiva, Man City at home. Uh, Verbink can start. I can't take Blinkhorn off because he's been brilliant so far. Matty Blinkhorn's been amazing. I can't I can't take him off the starting lineup. David Collins, get in. Seeing if Deportivo has got any any uh, familiar players, Philippe. Oh, 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> ah, one one at half time. <sighs> right, okay. Take the ver beak off. Villalba's coming on. Take Pitcher off and Fredrickson can come on. Come on, boys. We need to be beating Deportivo La Coruña. What? Milos, please check if Deportivo still plays Park the Bus tactic. Well, that tactic. Because to me, that looks like park the bus. And we're going to lose. Oh, Fredrickson, get in. Can there be late drama at the new Bucks head? No, there can't. It stays at 2-2. Fredrickson equalises for Telford United. Absolutely brilliant. Tell you what, if we if we do move clubs next season, who who should we uh, who should we what country should we be playing in if we do move clubs? <coughs> the Scottish media suggestion that Real Madrid may be on the verge of signing Christian Vieri. He feels he has no support from his manager. Why didn't you join us then? You absolute moron. 
League Cup. We've got Man City away. Simon Scott. Got him on my on my uh, watch list for some reason. And Darren Ross. He's got to be. He's got to be on my list for a reason. And Simon Scott. Milos Deportiva is a hard team to beat. They play crazy defensive with counter attacks. Yeah. They're on my list for a reason, and I don't know why. Someone must have told me who they were, and I can't remember who they who who their regens are, who they regen off, should I say? So Milos, we've got Lee Fowler, Lee Fowler for two and a half million pounds. We finally managed to get him, dude. So we'll see how well he performs. Right, we'll put Lee Fowler on the subs bench for this game. Blinkhorn didn't do anything in the last game, so Villalba will start. Hunt Lyle will go on the subs bench for this game. Pascal is back. Um, put you there. Other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Jarvin a try. Instead of uh, Dennis Burkamp's regen. No, yeah, 32. It's fine for Fowler. Milos, now Fowler. Now a Fowler. Few rules. One, never use him as a midfielder or a defensive or central defender. I will listen to those rules, dude. Right, who's in Man City's team? Paul Gallagher, Emerson Boyce, Ross Forsyth, Izzy, Ross O'Donoghue, Tony, Thomas Gravison, good player, Kevin Phillips, Alan Smith. Wow. Chris Commons. <coughs> and Man City are winning 1-0. Right, change that to a more direct play. Verbink can come on for Jarvan. We'll bring on Fowler for you, dude. Take John Morgan off. Use him. Oh, I've, I've just, I've just put him as a midfielder central as well. We'll swap him over with Xabi Alonso. Collins made it one-one. Thank you, the king of equaliser. Villalba, 2-1 to Telford, get in. Fri oh, Collins, you're offside, you absolute moron. Come on, Telford. This game was too close to call. Too close to call. Lee Fowler got a nine. Four tackles, four one. Milos, and I want to take the bet. First game when you decide to use him as a starter, his rating will be nine, and he will make seven to eight tackles. Milos, that is that's a bold statement. That is a bold statement, dude. So we've got Simon Scott joining us. I'm talking to you this all the time. <laughs> <coughs> well Milos um, I'll play him in the next game I'll start him in the next game I'll see how he does I will see how he does
Preston uh, loses David Seaman as their manager and they appoint Lee Dixon as their new manager I did put him back in in, in defensive midfield Milos as well to be fair right uh, Blinkhorn can start in attacking midfield um, right hand side defence right Mark Harper okay so Xabi Alonso will come on for Morgan Who's Blackburn got in their team? Liam Richardson, which is David Seaman's regen. Jamie McCunney, uh, Sommer, not heard of that one. Darren Kenton, Burton O'Brien, Sean Maloney, he's a good player. Richard Barr, Craig Dudley, Gary Doherty, and Beto. They've got a couple of good players. <coughs> All right, we are doing what Milos said, starting Lee Fowler in defensive midfield. He'll get between 7 to a 9 as a rating. Tackles 7 to 8. We will see, Milos. We will see. Come on, Telford. What is going on? What is going on, Telford? Half time. Only one shot in the game so far. Verbink is going to come on for Villalba. Swap view of Blinkhorn. So far, Lee Fowler is a seven. Uh, I can't risk you getting sent off. What's his stats so far? Five tackles out of six. He's won so far. Milos, I would bet with my life his average rating will be over eight. We will see, dude. We will see. Fowler is selling me out. <laughs> Come on, Telford. We are not creating chances. Nil nil. Lee Fowler nine. Look at that. Nine tackles, one out of eleven, and one of them was key. Can't believe we drew bottom of the table Blackburn. That is just absolutely horse crap. Telford's attendance of eighteen thousand at home against Blackburn is a new record high. Milos, I'll give you I'll give you credit where it's due he performed exactly how you said he would perform <coughs> Milos yeah you can you can brag as much as you want dude you, you've earned the right to brag you got the bragging rights you got it right you got it right I never knew about Lee Fowler, to be fair. don't know if any of you guys knew about Lee Fowler, but yeah, he, he definitely... He definitely turned up. He definitely turned up. Won the bet. Yeah, you won the bet, dude. You won your life. <laughs> <coughs> you keep your life, Milos. You bet with your life and you keep your life. Who have we got in the next game? Don't think Lee Fowler will be able to play in the Champions League, though, dude, to be fair, because uh, obviously we've set up the team already, haven't we? Milos, believe Xabi Alonso is weak comparing to Fowler. That is a massive statement. That is a massive statement. That is a massive statement from you, dude. Yeah, definitely. Crystal Palace at home in four days' time. Xabi Alonso uh, is good for backup. What's uh, Lee Fowler's um, set pieces like? 16. It's not bad. Off the ball, 20. In positions, 20. 
<coughs> can't argue with that. I, I can't argue with you, mate, because Lee Fowler had done the business against Blackburn. It's just a shame that we couldn't score. Crystal Palace at home. Right, John Morgan can start in this game. Um, let's see. Verbink can start again. Right, let's go more direct with our passing. Milos, interesting Fowler is performing excellent from first season. Villalberg get in 1 0. John Morgan get in your first goal of the season. Gary Speed's regen. And Villalba again. It's 3 0. We're starting to get our winning ways again. But Shepard. <coughs> Fowler didn't stop that Milos, did he? What the hell is going on? Two shots, two goals for Crystal Palace. I'm being CM'd. Right, Blinkhorn's coming on for Verbeek. Lee Fowler, three tackles, one out of five. Who's in Crystal Palace team? We never checked, did we? It's 3-3. Three, three. What... Villalba scores a hat trick, but I'm not celebrating at the moment because Telford, um, Telford, Crystal Palace keeps coming back. Milos, and don't be disappointed if Fowler is playing six, seven in games where you dominate with four or five goals. He's best in tie games. Six, three. We let in far too many goals in this game. Lee Fowler. Three tackles, one out of six. He's got a nine out of ten, but John Morgan got man of the match. Look at the passing. Look at the passing play by us now. My goalie got a four out of ten. That's hum humiliating. <laughs> Fowler cannot defend alone. <laughs> <coughs> it sounds like you're defending Fowler a lot, Milos. But no, he he's still got a nine out of ten. He still he still showed uh, very good, very good play there. Milos, yeah, he's still got a nine. He's still got a nine. Right, who have we got in the next game? Deportivo away from home, then Liverpool. Wow. And an assist. I didn't see that he got an assist, actually. I didn't look at that, to be fair. If he got an assist, well done to Lee Fowler. <coughs> Yeah, he can't play in European competitions. Oh, I'll be able to add him in when it's uh, further down the line. Okay, we're going to start Unders in this defensive role. Um, right, we're going to go short passing to start with in this game. So we're playing away from home. Deportivo were very very hard to break down in the last game coming up to half time still nil nil gonna have to change things around
they're playing really defensive John Morgan needs to come off Frederickson can come on uh, Blinkhorn can come on for Villalba swap Villalba with um, swap Verbeek with Blinkhorn let's see if that does any difference we'll go more direct style of play I know Hans Veit is 5 out of 10 at the moment but I feel that we can uh, we could carry on with him playing at the moment Come on, Telford. Why is it so hard to break them down? Nil-nil against Deportivo. We didn't even have a single shot on target. <clears throat> How horrific is that? Well, we've got to look forward to our next game, which is against Liverpool. We'll be playing at Anfield as well. Milos, you need Fowler to close this game. Sonkoya, left back. Yeah, he's good. I'm keeping him on my sub on my shortlist because I uh, don't know where we're going to be ending up next season. David Platt's now Farnborough Town's manager. Here we are, Liverpool. Right, Fowler, get back into defensive midfield. Xavi Alonso will go on the subs bench. Pascal's back. Um... Amika can go on the subs bench. Who's Liverpool got in their team? Chris Kirkland, Jamie Carragher, Stelios, Martin Taylor, Jos Valgaranen, Steve Malbronk, Roy Delap, Gerard Owen, Diego Tristan, and Damien Duff. Milos, I am a bit drunk, don't take me seriously, but I am serious if I recommend you a player. No, dude, I won't take you seriously, don't you worry. A little bit concerned, though, with our striking options at the moment because we're now struggling to try and get shots on target. And, and sorry for the typing errors. Milos, you don't need to be sorry, dude. Believe me, don't need to be sorry. Villalba with the penalty, gets in. Right, okay. Blinkhorn's going to come on for Verbeek. And I'm not letting Pascal get sent off in this game. Lee Fowler, three tackles. He's one out of seven so far. Are we playing more direct? Yes, we are. <coughs> Come on, boys. Coming up to the 8th. Blink on. 2 0. Get in. Emery, hello, dude. How are you, mate? You okay? Who we got? So Torino next, then Ipswich, and then Man City. So we're going to make Man City the last game, guys. And then right after the Man City game, we will be doing the live draw for the merchandise. So, guys, if you haven't joined the TGR, that's Game of Robo Members Club yet, you need to do so by going to the main YouTube page of my page, sorry, and click join. And then you'll be part of the merchandise draw tonight Emre started night shift so couldn't reply your message no worries dude no worries mate
So we've got Torino now. We've got no Lee Fowler. So Xabi Alonso starts. All right, Verbink can have a rest. Amika can start in attack and midfield. Let's try you out there. Uh, Rosati can go in defence for this game. Emre, yeah, I'm all right, dude. I'm all right. Um, been, uh, it's been, it's been a nice evening so far. My little one's not come downstairs coughing her guts up, which is the main, main thing I was worried about tonight. But yeah, been all right, dude. The season so far is going off pretty well. Got uh, given a new player to sign from Milos, which was Lee Fowler. Um, he's doing quite well, to be fair as well. Did I download the tech? No, I haven't downloaded it yet, mate. Uh, admittedly, I haven't downloaded it yet, but uh, I will do. I will be doing so on one of my save games I'm doing for myself. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely will. I definitely will be. Uh, Frederickson can come on. Collins, I'm going to give you a rest. I think you need a rest now. But 3-0 against Torino is absolutely brilliant. But only 8,500 people have come to watch this game. Yeah, 18,500 came to watch us uh, have a ball draw against Blackburn Rovers. Oh, 3-1. Uh, the, let's get you on for hands right. <coughs> Three one, brilliant victory. We're we're nearly there. Look at that. It's it's a it's a drawing table this for this group. Uh, Emery, no, I haven't had the chance to download it yet, dude. Um, I will do so. Um, I will, I will download it, mate. Don't you worry. I will download it. I haven't, I haven't had the chance to do that yet. Uh, Mark, what tactic is it? Emre, do you want to explain to Mark what tactic it is? Emre, can you check Ivan Rousseff? Yeah, I can check him. <coughs> wow. He's had a pretty good uh, career so far, but he looks really good as well. So Ipswich Town. Right, Lee Fowler's going back into defensive midfield. Uh, Rosati's can come off. Uh, we'll put Pascal back in defence. Get a drink. Lolly. We already had pudding today. Just get one of the ice ones, the juice ones. Okay. Uh, keep that team as it is. Who's in Ipswich Town's team? Chris McHattie. Oh, 1 0. John Morgan, get in. Jim Lachlan, 2. Pitcher. Michael Kirk, Titus Bramble, Jody Craddock, Herman Harideson, Brett Emerton. Ville Walba makes it 3 0. Park Kangjo, Aki, Kaijo, and Henrik Pedersen. Uh, Emre, that, that's a tactic that I've sent him. It's 4-1, 3-1-1, pretty strong tactic. 
and Miko's playing really good in in, uh, in attack and midfield actually 5-0 at half time absolutely amazing from Telford alright let's bring on uh, Matthew Blinkhorn for David Collins he needs a rest Milos David, Lee Fowler's got a yellow card already I hope he's not a dirty bastard like Neil Scally. Six nil. Amika scores his second goal of the game. Seven nil. Blinkhorn. <laughs> They've subbed the keeper, yeah. Darren Ipswich have subbed the keeper early. In the 18th minute, yeah. They put James Pierce on, and he's done just as bad. Eight nil. How many shots do we have on goal? 14. How did Lee Fowler go on? Three tackles, he won out of six. He got a nine out of ten. What a win. 8 0 against Zipswich Town. Wow. Right, guys, this will be the last game against uh, Manchester City. Then afterwards, like I said, we will be doing the live draw for the uh, for the merchandise that we uh, that we discussed earlier on. This is your last chance. If you haven't joined the TGR, that's Gaming Robber Members Club yet, go onto the main YouTube page and click on join. It will be right beside the subscribe button, and then you could be in a chance with the draw as well. Uh, Milos Fowler did not have many tackles as there were nothing to tackle I'm even surprised he's got a 9 I uh, can't play him in the League Cup because he's obviously played in there already but uh, Amika uh, attacking midfielder he, he's doing brilliant he's doing brilliant there I, I can't I can't take him out of there at the moment Dennis Bergkamp's regen is stuck on the subs bench uh, typical I praise him and he gets injured Sorry, we're going to put Blink on and attack midfield. <coughs> One nil. Oh, pitcher offside. Who's in the Man City team? Oh, we've checked the Man City team already, haven't we? It's only the League Cup, though, so I'm not too fussed with the League Cup. It would be nice to win it, but I'm not too fussed if we don't, to be fair. Right. John Morgan needs to come off. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different here. Put Blinkhorn in central midfield. See how he does there. One nil to Man City. Alan Smith. But Collins equalised, the king of equalised scores. Matteo, hello, have I missed two seasons? What have I missed? Uh, dude, we won the Premier League last season. Uh, we're in the Champions League right now. Collins, it's 2-1. <coughs> but Matteo, this was the last game of the stream tonight, dude, because I will be doing the live draw uh, for the guys who are part of the TGR, that's Game of Robo Members Club. But uh, guys, just have a quick recap. At this moment in time, we're top of the table after 10 games, winning eight, drawing two. Milos has told me to sign Lee Fowler, and so far, 
so far he's doing really really good he's doing really really good can't fault I can't fault Milos there he's providing me with an absolute beauty of a player but uh, guys like I said we will be doing the live draw for the TGR that's Game and Robo Members Club uh, merchandise uh, like I said before we have uh, the TGR that's Game of Robo Members Club uh, mugs as well as the mouse mats as well um, <coughs> so I need to see exactly who is part of the Members Club because I've got to add a couple of names to it so bear with me two ticks guys Uh, members All right, it's loading it up now when it wants to load up Okay. <coughs> well, why is that still not? Okay, guys. So the first name I am drawing out of my little hat at the moment is, well, just before I do draw the name out, um, any of the guys who are, uh, who do get um, <coughs> uh, prize, uh, sorry, prize, merchandise, um, if you can, if I do uh, pull your name out with uh, whatever it is that you will get, if you can, um, message me um, so I can grab your addresses and so then I can get that sent over to you that would be absolutely amazing uh, okay so first of all Mark Wagstaff Mark are you still there Mark Mark you have got a Mouse mat. <coughs> uh, next name I've got on my on my uh, hat here. John Forks. So John Forks, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen John Forks come up on the uh, on the chat tonight. If he, if you are there, John, uh, you have got uh, mouse mat as well. Uh, let's see. Next name I've got on my list. Uh, AJ. <laughs> And AJ's got a mouse mat as well. I'm going to run out of mouse, mouse mats, aren't I? AJ's got a mouse mat. I haven't seen AJ tonight, to be fair. Uh, let's see. Next name, Simon. Simon, I saw you earlier on. I don't know if you're still there now. Mark, I hope you're happy with that, dude. <laughs> so, Simon. Simon, you've got a mug. Okay, uh, Matthew Johns. Matthew Johns, you've got a mouse mat. Uh, 
uh, all about football management I haven't seen you tonight do to be fair when you do watch this you have got a mug is that all about football management you've got a mug Uh, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. I saw. I think I saw your name earlier in the uh, in the stream. If you are still there, dude. Wayne, you've got. Oh, Wayne's Wayne's one of the lucky guys. He's actually got a double prize. He's got the mug and the mouse mat. So Wayne, if you're still there, dude, you I, you've got the mug and the mouse mat. I've got one prize left now and the last name is Matty Matty you still there dude <coughs> uh, Matty you've got a mug as well so guys, I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoy that. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy that, Simon. That's cool. That's cool. So guys, um, yes. Yeah, so if you can contact me, I know some of, most of you have got me on Facebook already. Um, so if you can contact me, I would like your uh, addresses so then uh, I can send the mouse mat or mugs over to you guys. So uh, if you haven't got me on Facebook yet. <coughs> Obviously, just uh, contact the TGR, that's Game and Robbo, um, Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, so then, obviously, you contact me with that and uh, send me your address, and I can get that sent over to you guys. But, guys, thank you very much for uh, an amazing evening. It's been absolutely brilliant. And, uh, like I said, contact me with your addresses so I can get that sent over to you guys. But I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. The next video that we have on Sunday night here at TGR. That's Game and Robbo. Enjoy your evening, guys. <laughs>